guys, welcome back to Sophie React Home Alone. Food Day. Today we're going to be reacting to Game of Thrones Season 4, Episode 3. This episode is called Breaker of Chains. So without further ado, let's dive into this reaction. We had a wedding last episode. <laughs> Best wedding ever. Just still can't believe it. Like, I can't believe that it happened. Like, it's so good to be true, but I'm actually doubting my eyes. Yeah, it really happened. It happened. You did this. You Shut up. Did this. We have to leave. Take him. Where is he taking Sansa? Where's his wife? Oh. Oh my God! I swear to God, if he Where if they catch he? her, no one leaves the capital. Please, 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 tell me no one's gonna catch her. Where is he taking her? Is he the one who killed him? Oh my God! I'm so fucking nervous. He had it ready. Get him. I think he's the one who killed him. Where'd that mist come from? Look, <gasps> Baelish. Baelish. I'm sure you've had quite a fright. Rest easy. The worst is past. The worst is yet to come. Are you kidding me? First, you'll want your pay. He 10, worked 000, for him? Was it? 10,000. Wait. <laughs> Why did you kill him? Because he was a drunk and a fool, and I don't trust drunk fools. I'm not sure about this. He was helping me because I saved his life. Yes. And he gave you a priceless necklace that once belonged to his grandmother. I had it made a few weeks ago. Is he the one who killed Joffrey? Why did he break the necklace? Clawing at his own throat, looking to his mother to make it stop. It's horrible. The world is overflowing with horrible things. It wasn't horrible. Wasn't at all. <laughs> you may not have enjoyed watching him die, but you enjoyed it more than you would have enjoyed being married to him. I can promise uh, you that. Uh, yeah, I promise I you that. I'm the queen. Our alliance with the Lannisters remains every bit as necessary to them as it is unpleasant for us. Guys, I have to stop. Sorry. But man, like, um, I still am thinking about the necklace. Middle finger had that guy give it to Sansa to wear it. Is it safe to think that the poison was in the necklace? Because man, if it is, Middlefinger literally used Sansa's decoy for Joffrey's murder. But the question is, if Joffrey is the one who killed, if Middlefinger is the one who killed Joffrey, what is it for him? I, I don't understand. Sure, he didn't do it for Sansa, like, no way he killed Joffrey for Sansa, there's no way. And he thrived, Middlefinger thrived under Joffrey's rule, under Lannister's rule. So I'm not sure why would he kill Joffrey? <laughs> With the googly eyes! Do you know what that means? Time to celebrate! <laughs> it means I'll become king. What kind of king? How much time be? has passed? A good king? He's already oh. grown up. I think so as well. Oh, you'd be far better than Darkwing. But what makes a good king? Justice. Yeah. Good king must be just. Oh, it's gonna or be far first, better. Just. Everyone applauded his reforms. He was murdered in his sleep after less than a year by his own brother. So he's like, mm, good, but not good enough. <laughs> what about strength? Yes. <laughs> like he agrees, but then he's like, hmm, not good enough. <laughs> so, we have a man who starves himself to death, a man who lets his own brother murder him, and a man who thinks that winning and ruling are the same thing. What do they all lack? Wisdom. Yes. <laughs> wisdom is what makes a good king. Yes. I was like, yes! But what yes. is wisdom? Hmm? Finally, a king that will listen to me. A wise young king listens to his counselors and heeds their advice until he comes of age. And the wisest kings continue to listen to them long afterwards. How are you? I'm all right. You are. You will be. Tywin passing on his wisdom to his grandchild. Jamie reassuring him. Everybody just ignoring Cersei. And Joffrey laying there dead. Beautiful. <laughs> He killed him. He didn't. He told me he would. The day will come when you think you are safe and happy. 
Yeah, he did. He did say that, but he didn't kill him. He wouldn't risk it. Come on. Use some logic here. You saw Joff point at him just before he died. Of course he's gonna point at him. He hates him. I killed Tyrion. What a dysfunctional Kent, family. Brother. Our brother. Benning one, hating the other. Jamie is really between a, a rock and hard place here. Oh fuck, no. Oh no, I don't wanna see this. What the hell, man? Ew. I guess even Cersei doesn't want to. You're a hateful woman. Why have the gods made me love a hateful woman? Oh my god, no way in hell. <gasps> oh my god, what the fuck? What the fuck? Fuck. And me who saw that Jamie is the stable one. That's so fucked up. I don't care. <laughs> Imagine if Joffrey just falls. That was so disturbing. And me who thought that this show can't surprise me anymore. This is my land. If I'm standing on it, it's my land. Forgive my father. He was wounded fighting in the war. Our cottage burned down while he was gone. And my mother with it. <laughs> He's never been the same. <laughs> We don't have much, but any man that bled for House Tully is welcome to it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> fair wages for fair work? Fair wages for fair work. <laughs> I was like, who's that? Oh my god, Maisie Williams. She's amazing, seriously. The hell? You told me you weren't a thief. Exactly. He took us in. He fed us. And Aye, then... he took us in. He's a good man. His daughter makes a nice stew. And they'll both be dead come winter. I just understand the way things are. How many stars they got to behead before you figure it out? Ouch. Ouch. Joffrey, the usurper. Joffrey Baratheon. I said those words when I tossed a leech into the yeah. fire. A leech filled with bastard blood. The Red Woman's magic is real. Her visions and prophecies may be too, but I've never heard of visions and prophecies winning a war. Soldiers win wars. Soldiers on the ground. We don't have any gold. If I do not press my claim, my claim will be forgotten. I will not become a page in someone else's history book. You're your father's daughter, and no mistake. <laughs> Bloody relentless, the both of you. I suppose if you work for the Iron Bank of Bravos, and each one of your gold barges is worth half a kingdom, you tend not to be overly concerned with the kind of distinction. Oh, what was that? I need you to write a message. Oh my God, they had they have the most amazing relationship. I think he's oh, interested. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're lovely. I just. Never acquired the taste. You're calling my beauty an acquired taste. He's allowed to be attracted to whoever he's, he wants to be attracted to. The gods made that and it delights me. The gods made this and it delights me. <laughs> the sky! Some believe the king choked. Some believe the sky is blue because we live inside the eye of a blue-eyed giant. I love him. I love him already. The king was poisoned. I hear you studied poisons at the Citadel. I did. You spoke with Tyrion in this very brothel on the day that you arrived. What did you discuss? You think we conspired together? He really believes that Tyrion is the one who did it? Men at war commit all kinds of crimes without their superior's knowledge. So you deny involvement in Elias' murder? Categorically. Categorically? Shit. Oh, man. Intense. This is so intense. Would like to speak with the mountain. I'm sure he would enjoy speaking with you. He's not much of a speaking type. Asking me to judge at your son's trial isn't quite as tempting. I would also invite you to sit on the small council to serve as one of the new king's principal advisors. You keep your enemies closer. You help me serve justice to the king's assassins, and I will help you serve justice to Elias. What are they saying about me out there? You're to stand trial in a fortnight. Do you believe I murdered Joffrey? No, for a second. The world is a better place without him. Yeah, for sure. To do with it. Exactly. I would like to think, if I were arranging a royal assassination, <laughs> I'd plan it in such a way that I wouldn't be standing there gawking like a fool exactly. when the king Exactly. <laughs> Cersei doesn't have common sense. Whoever killed the king wanted me to lose my head for it. 
And with my wife's disappearance, it makes me seem that much more guilty. She stayed long enough to see her tormentor getting choked to death. The man pulling the strings, or woman, my father. Maybe Joffrey was too much work for him. Sweet Tommen would be so much easier. Yeah, to that's what I think. Maybe Tywin told Middlefinger to do it. A man, I didn't know his face. He came to ask if I'd testify against you. Are you going to accept their offer? You've been good to me, my lord. Pod, I will not have you dying on my behalf. Do you hear me? If I have to take that long walk to the executioner's block, I don't want to see your head already mounted. My lord. Pod, I am giving you an order. Oh, I know Tywin knows that he didn't do it, that Tyrion didn't do it, but he wants to... He wants him to be found guilty anyway. God, does he hate him that much? He has never lived a more loyal squire. No one boils a potato better than your mum. She got... Come on, mate. You know how to get to Castle Black? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to eat your dead mama, and I'm going to eat your dead papa. Go tell the crows at Castle Black. If the wildlings breach the wall, they'll roll over everything and everyone for a thousand miles before they reach an army that can stop them. We need to shore up Castle Black. And we need to defend the wall. Rangers returning. Oh, they survived. Have a blue eyes by now. <laughs> Man says all he needs to crush us, he just doesn't know it yet. But as soon as he gets his hands on them, he will. Then he'll throw his full strength at us. And even if every one of us kills a hundred wildlings, there's still not a thing we can do to stop them. I don't think I can kill a hundred wildlings. <laughs> they want you to send your own champion against them. I have something to say to the people of Marine. First, I will need this one to be quiet. <laughs> I've been by your side longer than any of them, Khaleesi. Let me stand for you today as well. You're my most trusted advisor, my most valued general, and my dearest friend. I will not gamble with your life. Friend zone. My mother was a boy. Oh, no. I come from nothing. And before long, I will return to nothing. Let me kill this man for you. Very well. <laughs> I think Daenerys has a thing for guys that don't care if they live or die. You sure you don't want a horse? I would want a horse. Horses are faster than men. Horses are dumber than men. Okay, impress me, man. How I wish the old actor was here. It's just not doing it for me. I'm trying, I'm really trying. The horse! She's speaking to the people. Diary. Oh my god, I love how she pronounces and emphasizes the words, even though it's 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 not a real language, you know? Oh, God, she always has the best scenes. Queen. <gasps> God, the way she set fire. No oh, chains. Queen. She gets the best scenes every time. Absolutely brilliant. The writing, the acting, the cinematography, like perfection. I like the scene a lot. Like, I <laughs> like the scene with Dario. <laughs> like, call it what you want. It was his crowning moment of awesome. I was doubtful about the actor, you know, because we really loved the other actor, like seriously. But you know, uh, this scene was, I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> Killing their champ with hardly any effort. They add an insult to injury by urinating on their arrows. Like, <laughs> what the hell? <sighs> but, um, uh, that moment with Dora, oh my god, poor Dora. Like, it's really sad. It's kind of sad. Like, Dario has barely been on the scene 
two minutes and he's already made more progress than Jora has in two years. Poor Jora, like seriously. Uh, also, I loved the scene between, that scene between Tywin and Tommen and Cersei. Uh, you know what I loved about the scene? Tywin was killing two birds with one stone. He was definitely helping Tommen in like starting to mold him into a better king than Joffrey ever was. But at the same time, Tywin was putting himself in a powerful position as the one the king turns to for advice. He was making sure that he's gonna get what he wants in the long run. He may be a ruthless prick, but he's damn good at what he does, like seriously. Like, he doesn't even manipulate him. He wasn't manipulating him. He was just steering him in the right direction. They both would get what they want at the end. And what makes me think that he's the one who killed Joffrey, Tywin was legit excited that his idiotic, cruel grandson was finally dead and he could now focus on trying to raise a kin that will actually listen to him, you know? So I'm not sure why he's trying to frame Tyrion. This is just my assumptions. I'm not like 100% sure that Tom is the one who did it, but I know for a fact that Middlefinger has something to do with it. And I was asking at the start, what's in it for him? What's in it for um, middle finger to do that? Like, he thrived under the Lancer's rules and he likes to, you know, to answer to Tywin. So I'm like, maybe he did. He, he did answer to Tywin, but him getting um, Sansa out of King's Landing, I don't think... That's him answering to Tywin. Maybe he did just on his own because he has he has some agenda for Sansa. Uh, I think the war between uh, the Wildlings and the uh, Watchers is nearby. I'm not sure how they're gonna win. I'm not sure how they're gonna defeat the Wildlings because like. 100 men unless they get some reinforcements uh this is no way like no way they could win this anyway thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed my reaction see you in the next video